hey guys welcome back to my channel so you guys i've been feeling a little bit under the weather and i decided to go to the hospital to check myself okay so i go here and of course i described the symptoms to the doctor and <laughs> the doctor said i should run a covid test okay um, of course i was nervous but i have to do what i have to do okay so yeah i've gone to pay for the test and i'll soon be going in to get tested all right yeah that's basically what brought me here I'm having is shortness of breath, nothing else, but I will have to run this COVID test. I'm sure I don't have COVID, but I have to run the test first. Oh my god, <laughs> you guys, I just finished. I just finished doing the test. It's kind of painful. Oh my god. It was really painful. Oh my god. So I'll go. I'll wait for 40 minutes for my test. For my test result to come out. So, yeah. The next day. Hey guys, welcome back again. It's um, Tuesday morning. Um, I've taken my kids to school and we woke up to a rainy day like it's been raining since morning so the weather is really um, not too fantastic today so um, this is more like an update about what happened yesterday at the hospital okay I waited for my test results to come out and yeah it came out negative okay so I've got no COVID-19 <laughs> okay I was really scared because the, the doctor said one of the symptoms I mentioned that I was experiencing that yesterday which is um, difficulty in breathing is a red flag of um, COVID-19 okay so he insisted that I must run the COVID-19 test okay that was why I did the test yeah okay, as first I was scared you know I thought about my kids my husband funny enough I thought about who will cook my children's food <laughs> The, the food that they will go to school the next day. You can imagine of that's how beautiful mother's heart ah you will always be calculating and thinking. Okay, so again I had to reassure myself that everything is going to be alright. That after all this is just doctor's uh, suspicion. Okay, so I had to go for the tests. I've heard about how they run this COVID-19 test. They will insert something on your nose tree like inside inside oh my god i literally cried <laughs> i don't like any form of pain the only pain i can tolerate now is maybe child birth any pain related to um, childbearing that's only pain that i can comfortably uh, endure or tolerate okay so after the consultation after the appointment with the doctor i wasn't really satisfied because she could not place her hand on anything okay though she gave me some drugs and asked me to monitor it if the symptoms persist that i should come back to the hospital to see a consultant okay yeah and this morning i feel very much better like i don't know it's really strange i can't really place it i can't say this is why I was having that feeling but when I came back from the hospital yesterday and I was still feeling so down so weak and of course the loss the difficulty in, in breathing still persisted okay so I had to pray about it sometimes when you go to hospital to get checked if you're not comfortable with whatever the outcome of the appointment doctor's appointment is I would advise you follow it up with prayer and which is exactly what I did we okay. prayed about it and I took communion and I woke up this morning stronger and refreshed okay so yeah you guys today I'm just gonna take lots of rest and I'll go and pick my kids from school so about this hair I said I was going to do a makeup on my face to talk about this hair this is actually the hair that I went to make 
the other day just a little salon not even a big salon just a little kiosk you know those small small shops a regular roadside local shop i went to make my hair and i love this braid really i love the braid my hair is due so because i don't want to put relax on my hair i just washed it and i braided the hair so look at how beautiful this braid is oh. It's so neat and I really like my braid very long. <laughs> I love this kind of sharp colors when it comes to braid. Okay, colors that even if I don't wear makeup, I'll still look very beautiful. Okay, so that's why I always go for colors like this. And my nails as well. I also made this nail under one small canopy. And the nail technician is very good. Unlike all those ones that you go to, you go to a very big shop and you pay so much money and they will give you something that will break tomorrow. So this one, I paid 1,100 just to get this nail done. I made this nail on, on Friday and today is Tuesday. And this nail, trust me, I've been, since I discovered this girl, I've been making my nails there. Yeah, if the place is not so fantastic, but trust me, if this girl make your nail, it's going to stay as long as you want, okay? So the only problem I have with her nail is if I want to take it off, oh my god, it's so much struggle to remove it. Like it's not the kind of nail that you just want to like use at it to, to take off, okay? You will have to visit a salon. It's either you go back to her to remove it or you'll get a good nail dissolver to take it off. So her nail really it lasts so long and she always has clients, when I mean customers, oh my god, she's so good, okay? But her location is not so fantastic. It's not where you want to go and do vlog because of the environment, it's not, it's not fine, I will not lie. But she knows what she's doing, I've advised her to get a good shop. She said that she had that in mind that she is believing God for a shop either by December or by January. And I pray God grant her her desire. Three hours later. So guys, this is school runs time and and I'm going to pick my kids. So come with me, come with me. So I'm doing this school runs today with my husband. So we're going together. We're going to pick our kids together. Very well, yes, I, we le I learned about Jesus. Oh. I talked about Jesus. Well, you guys talked about Jesus. What did they yes. teach you about Jesus? I was, I was singing Jesus, I was spelling Jesus. Really? I was looking at the realm of Jesus. Oh, really? Yes. Ooh. I taught. Yes, like what else did you learn in school today, David? I learned alphabets. Ooh, okay. Mom, no, not playing the playground. Okay, can I go and play? Drive. Sugar boy. Can you drive? Sugar boy, what do you no, want to do? Can you drive? Nathan! Nathan! <laughs> How are you? How are you, my darling? Do you want to drive? Hi, Nathan! Hi, Nathan! Hi, sugar boy! Hi, sugar boy! Yeah. What do you say to your mommy? Mommy, good up. Good afternoon, Nico. How are you? How was today? What did you learn in school today? I learned computer and... And what else? Okay. So... Can I play with David? No. We're we have to, to go. go We're about to go. Okay? Why do you allow them? Because we're waiting for you. Okay? We'll play some other time. Please get there with Juliet. Let's go. We have to go. Okay? Popcorn. Hello, guys. What are you doing? Nathan, what are you doing? Remove your hand, the dirty hand from your mouth. <laughs> suck, suck.
so i just got home from school runs okay and yeah thank you for watching up to this point and i'll see you guys on my next video bye